I thought you said you were coming home. I'm working another shift. I thought we could get breakfast and do something. Why? Because it's my birthday. <laughs> so? We're short-staffed. But, Mum... I have to work. I got you those. Happy 18th. Is Dr. Fenton here? Um, Dr. Clay is doing emergency appointments today. I need to see Dr. Fenton. Was there someone I can do for you? That's all right. Uh, I can make you an appointment with Dr. Fenton. Um, I I'll go find him. It's okay. But he's not at work today. I know where he lives. Should I call his house? Nah, leave it. Joe will handle it if he doesn't want him there. He's very fond of Mickey. He's been one of Joe's patients since before he was born. Really? Yeah. Mickey Carty. It's an odd one, actually. Mickey and his mother moved here when Joe did. Uh, followed him all the way from Bristol just so Mickey could still be one of Joe's patients. You should get that. No, they'll ring back if it's important. See, there's no law that says you have to answer the phone. So how are things? What do you think? Mm. My mother gave me condoms. She got them from the SCI clinic. You know, in her own way, she probably means well. You know, in her own way, she's probably as messed up as hell. And she really gets off on making me feel worthless. So, how did the exams go? Sound. Uni? I've had offers. Hmm. She hasn't even asked me. Got enough condoms to see me for the first year, though. Give him a reason to wake up. Make him want to be with you. What do I say? Things he wants to hear. Well, come on. We both know she hates me. I, I've lived with it most of my life. Look, I can accept it. I just need to understand. I wish I could help you. I want to hate her right back, you know, but I can't. I know. You're the reason we moved down there. I didn't want to move. I had loads of friends in Bristol. Why... Why do we have to follow you? Only your mother can tell you. I can't. Why do you have to be my doctor? Why is that so important to her? What? Is that so dreadful? Dr Fenton, are you my dad? Oh, no. No, Mickey. I'm not your father. But you know who is, though, don't you? I can't tell you. But listen, Mickey. If I was your father, I'd be very proud of you. You're a fine young man, in spite of her, her problems. Yeah. I'm great. You are. Why should I wait till she gets home? I want to sort this out now. Give me a lift to St Phil's and help me to make her tell me. Whoa, 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 look, I'm not her favourite person. Please. It's my birthday. you bring him in here? I asked him to. And what? You get everything that you want, do you? I couldn't sit back and let... <laughs> what? You couldn't sit back? I thought that was exactly your ticket. Didn't you excel at that? Oh, I'm sick of playing your messed up games, Mum. Whatever it is, just say it. I don't want to say anything. I never have. Who's my father? Did you put him up to this? No. What did I ever do? You were born. I didn't ask to be. No. So, applause for the doctor who convinced me I should have you. I you think... want to know why he's your doctor? Because I wanted him to keep seeing you. He should be reminded. Why should he be allowed to forget you existed? But what did I do? Not you. Your filthy rapist of a father. Is it true? We were all right once. I know we were. You cuddled me sometimes. I, I remember we did. What happened? You grew into the living image of your father. Why does she hate you? I told her what all the options were. 
It wasn't my place to stop her or try and convince her. She made all the decisions. But she blames you. She did want you. You were premature and so very tiny. She wanted you so badly when she thought she was going to lose you. I don't know. She became deeply unhappy and she wouldn't let me be her doctor. It helped her to hate me. <laughs> we followed you all the way from Bristol because she hates you. Yeah. When I saw you, I was supposed to remember the mistake I'd made. But all it does is remind me how glad I am that she had you. My father raped her. Don't think there's any doubt about that. I'm so sorry. The sight of me must sicken her. Happy birthday to me, eh? Give it up, Dr. Fenton. I'm going to sort this out once and for all. Please, Doc, answer that one. Apart from my good friend being wired up along the corridor, you mean? I'm Mickey's doctor. I owe it to him to say my piece. You're not my doctor. Leave me alone. Stuff your words of wisdom. What about Mickey? He's 18. He can leave whenever he likes now. Let yourself stop hating, Diane. Give yourself time to see him as he is. I see his father. He's his own man. What are those? We're going back to Bristol, Mum. These are the pills she needs to get her through the day. She did get help, Dr. Fenton, just from the wrong place. I don't believe this. How dare you? I'm sorry I look like him, Mum. But I'm not him. I love you. I'll call you. Thanks for everything, Dr. Fenton. You know where I am if you need me. Don't look at me like that. You never liked it here anyway. Oh, he'll be fine. So, uh, I need a little help. Most of the nurses here are on antidepressants, or they drink themselves stupid, or smoke pot, or snort cocaine, so what? You know I can't ignore this. <sighs> what? Is this supposed to be the breakthrough moment? Do I turn to you and say, thank you for giving me my life back? The sunlight's going to break through the clouds, right? And I'm going to see everything clearly? Maybe not. But I'm going to do everything I can to get you to see a therapist. <laughs> Feel free. That it with the precious advice? No. If Mickey gives you a call, which he surely will, then make sure you answer the phone. <laughs> 